welcome to the next of my videos where we're preparing for Yuletide. This time we're going to be looking at how we can use dried oranges. Oranges have long been seen as something precious and special and quite exotic and even my own parents generation would have had an orange in their Christmas stocking as a gift. Also, the spices that I've used to put on the oranges were also very, very treasured and expensive and were often kept in locked cabinets. So creating these orange pomanders and orange slices was something that was very special and something that really was about celebrating the season. The orange completely studded with cloves still with its slits in each part making a cross and um, the fragrance from this is just absolutely unbelievable it's so lovely you really really need to make one just to just to literally smell it what I'm going to be doing with this now is putting it again in the oven low heat door open this will take several days to to actually dry out if not longer um, so often what I do is, is when I'm cooking and I've had a hot oven, I'll just let it, you know, sort of cool down and then just pop this in at the end while it's cooling down, sort of over the period of about a week. And it sort of just really starts to dry this out and shrivel it. You're best to leave some gaps between the cloves because what happens is, is the orange will, as it dries, it'll sh sort of shrivel and get smaller. Equally, you can put this in um, a brown paper bag and put it in your airing cupboard if that's a nice warm place or somewhere that is warm and you can just sort of like let it start to dry, um, you know, sort of over a period of time. That takes a very long time normally though. I have done that method and it's taken quite a few months for it actually to, to happen. And if your airing cupboard isn't that warm, sometimes what you can end up with is rather a mouldy orange at the end of it. Again, the other thing you can do is you can put it onto a radiator, one way you don't mind it getting a little bit sticky. And if you pop it on there, you'll get this fabulous fragrance while this orange is drying out. Uh, so that's an added bonus. And um, again, that'll probably take a few days and you'll need to just sort of keep turning it. So um, that's about it really. These were believed to have been made in Elizabethan times, Tudor times. Um, so quite an old tradition, something that's really nice to do and quite easy. that I'm going to be using are quite traditional uh, sort of smells so I've got cinnamon um, I've got mixed spice as well and also I'm going to be using nutmeg which I'm going to grate over the oranges and I've also got a thing that's called Christmas in a bottle um, which is rather appropriate and it's got the scent of orange and cinnamon so I'll be using this as well so to start off with, I will just get my nutmeg and I'm just going to literally grate it all over these. And you really give them a liberal dosing. And equally, then I'm going to literally sprinkle some mixed spice over it and also a little bit of cinnamon as well. Don't worry that it's discolouring your fruit because it, that'll easily brush off because it's all dry. Um, and we're not going to use so much of this that it's going to make the fruit wet, it's just going to be a little bit. So again, just a few drops of this onto the oranges and that's really going to make them smell fabulously seasonal. 
The next thing to do is to get some paper towel, if I can find mine, or some brown paper or something like that, and just then create little bundles of these oranges with all of that scent in and just wrap it up. So just do the same again, pop those oranges in with all of the scent on it and the spices and wrap it up. And the same with this one here, same thing, wrap it up. And then put them into a box which you close up and leave, oh, you know, at least a week or two, uh, the longer the better. And that'll really start to get those smells into your dried oranges. And then when you open that box, you will literally have the most fabulous scent. So that's really all we need to do to prepare the oranges. The next thing I'm going to show you is what you can do with them once you've completed the drying and also giving them the scent. One of the things that I like to do with the dried orange slices is to make hangings with them. So I've got some thread and I've got quite a big needle here and I've got some of my orange slices. I've put a knot in the end of the thread and literally what I do is just thread it through the first orange like so and then just pop another thread there through so it's got sort of a big stitch in it then going to do the same with the next one So there I've got two oranges and again with another one. Now obviously you can do this for as many oranges as you want to. There we go. What you can also do is create little bundles. I've got little bundles of fir tree. I've tried to get things that are quite aromatic. So fir tree, spruce tree, um, herbs, anything like that they'll work really well and I've just sort of tied them in a little bundle with thread and what I can do is again just thread that through just to break up the oranges before I then put another one that I can then thread through. your oranges to make a really lovely pot poire to have in your room. All you need is to get a sort of seasonal dish, mine's got ivy on it, and to go out and collect things. So I've collected things like fir cones, I've got bits of holly and ivy, bits of fir tree, all sorts of things, and literally put them together. So I'm just going to pop these things into a bowl, just pop some oranges in first, and put some of my holly and my ivy my fir tree, a little bit more ivy, a little bit more holly, pop a few more oranges in. I've got a little bit of rosemary which is significant because it's of remembrance so that's quite a nice one to put in here and I'm just going to again pop a few more bits in there. I've got some smaller little cones that I've found which are quite cute. It's quite nice to use these end bits of orange as well in these. Uh, you know they're quite difficult to thread and use for anything else so you can just put those in and it just really makes a nice little seasonal dish of goodies um, which you can then put some more of your spices on top, put a bit more of um, one of the oils that if, if you manage to get one. I've also got some more cloves here um, so again I can just sprinkle those on it as well. All of those things are then going to make a lovely scent. If you make it early it's quite good if you put it into um, a, a paper bag or just cover it with some paper and that's really again going to you know let all of those smells sort of get more intense and then when you're ready when you want to get your house all beautifully scented for Yuletide obviously then open them out. I'll put some pictures of the way I use them as potpourries and um, I think that you'll find that your house will just smell absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Another really
really nice way to use your dried oranges is when you make yuletide wreaths. I'm going to be showing you how to make a wreath that you can put on your door or it can adorn your gate or be brought into your home. I'll be doing that in the next video. In the meantime, hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you. Bye bye.